They are given the cue to emerge into the evening here at Molyneux. It is a stadium that is a mixed stadium for the Blues in recent times. They've won one, drawn one and lost one in the last three meetings in the Premier League. And who knows what this evening may turn out to be. Following their encouraging display at Chelsea, the hosts have remained largely the same. Indeed, their only change is enforced following an injury to Roman Saiz. His place goes to Chiquinho, who starts his first ever Premier League game. It's likely, therefore, that Dendonka might drop into the back three. Meanwhile, on the bench, they have £40 million striker Fabio Silva and South Korean international Hwang Hee Chan. But City's long-time nemesis, Adama Traore, has moved on to Barcelona. He left in the January transfer window. So seven points required from three matches. The Blues could gather six of those before Liverpool next play a Premier League match. Phil Foden, who tried to tap it to Bernardo Silva, but it ends in the possession of Jose Sarr, who hits it long. City win it back through Zinchenko, helped on by De Bruyne, gathered in nicely, and on it goes to De Bruyne again, and City are in front. That is a delightful goal. Lovely combination, and De Bruyne. Who else? The form he's in, sweeping City in front. He goes over to the City fans on the far side of the ground. It's all filled with blues, and they are celebrating the quite perfect opening to this game. Kevin De Bruyne in this wonderful campaign. That is his eighth goal in 12 games and, what, seven minutes. And it was beautifully constructed, Michael Brown. But it was, he's bright, there's just a little bit of a flick, but then he doesn't stop, does he? The run comes into his path, left footed just inside the area after that, a little give and go. Bernardo, a wonderful little pass, he fizzes the ball right into the far post. Jose Sarr, no chance, but it's about the dynamics of Kevin De Bruyne. I was in match day live, Ali, and Kel Spellman was saying, is he going to do it again in five minutes? Well, he's waited six, how dare we wait in question? when he's to come to the party, but a wonderful start from the main man yet again. Penalty area, he's faced by a couple of players, tries to lay it in low towards maybe Bernardo Silva, and now here they come, Wolves on the counter-attack. Jimenez running across the centre circle, plays it out to Pedro Neto to the edge of the penalty area. Pedro Neto looking for the right ball, and Wolves have equalised! Well, it's the counter-attack that they do so devastatingly well, and Leander Dendonka on the end of Pedro Neto's ball across the face of the box and it is Wolves 1, City 1. On halfway again with Laporte, who plays it out wide to Zinchenko. Zinchenko clips it forward on towards De Bruyne and on it goes as well towards Sterling and City are back in front again through De Bruyne. What a game we've got in store tonight and what a player we've got in Kevin De Bruyne. The first chance fell for Sterling, it came off the bar and on the rebound, Kevin De Bruyne with a bit of a deflection on the way through, finds the roof of the net and the Blues are back in front, Michael. Well, there's nobody who can play, who creates space like Kevin De Bruyne in tighter areas, he has that awareness to look over his shoulder, create the space, know he can fall back and then that little ball in, create that uncertainty, just too far away from... Raheem Sterling, Jose Sarr comes out, sort of chests it. And as I see it drop down, I'm thinking, where's this ball going on the edge of the area? Well, it's Kevin De Bruyne, and he generally doesn't miss in those types of situations. Just swept it, slightly deflected into the roof of the net. He runs off, challenging right in front of the Wolves supporters. They're not pleased. But you can see the delight all around from the City supporters and City staff. What a goal. It's to the edge of his technical area, the City come forward to Bruyne! Kevin De Bruyne, stop it! Just stop it! I'm running out of superlatives. I don't think there are any left in my vocabulary. Kevin De Bruyne is simply out of this world. Oh, I've seen it drop to him, Ali. I'm thinking, go on, the space is opening up. He's driving into the area. There's some good forward runs. I said about keeping that dynamic tempo up, and as soon as it opens him up, that left foot strike. He's got no hit him that good, the far corner for a hat-trick, I mean a hat-trick so early, 24 minutes Ali is an incredible return from Kevin De Bruyne, but that's what you get with the desire, the determination 
just sort of falls through and then opens up some good runs. That little bit of a foil, wasn't it, for Bernardo Silva. He wraps his foot round it. It's in a far corner, remarkable finish. I don't quite know exactly how to describe the hat-trick we've just witnessed from Kevin De Bruyne, other than to remind you that he's a midfielder, but he has just scored the most sensational hat-trick. And would you believe it, inside 24 minutes here at Molyneux, Bernardo Silva's got the ball, he plays it in field to De Bruyne, De Bruyne into the gap for Foden, Foden towards Sterling, De Bruyne, can you believe it? It's four, formidable. Kevin De Bruyne, what a magnificent display. He's finally got one with the right boots, but I tell you what, the timing of it couldn't be better. City now 4-1 clear. There's a kiss from Rodri for KDB, who scores four goals for the first time in his professional career. And City lead at Molyneux by four goals to one. Michael Kevin De Bruyne, what can you say? Who starts it? Who starts it? He gets in that number 10 position again. He opens his body up, drives forward, gets his head up, and it's the runner, Phil Foden. Fabulous. I think it's Phil Foden as he goes gets shot away, unselfish, gets the ball across, and it drops so kindly, doesn't it? It's with Kevin De Bruyne is stepping onto it, just next to the penalty spot, this time with his right foot, Pep Guardiola jumping up and down as they make that substitution for Nathan Akeva Laporte, a great time to do it as well, great goal again. Seven days on from that awful moment at the end of the game in the Bernabeu, and already City have scored nine goals since and are heading for two wins as Grealish to the edge of the penalty area and it goes through and Sterling has got the most simple of tap-ins and City have got five. It was a lovely counter-attack. Trout Cancelo played it in. It just eluded Jose Sarr and it was just a, a stroke in from less than a metre out from Raheem Sterling who gets his goal in the end and City are five. 5-1 up. Mares, Cancelo stepping forward, but we've witnessed a, a wonderful display. Four goals from the man himself who's in form, Kevin De Bruyne. Remarkable, really. Lots of opportunities, lots of chances. It's a top away performance now that builds it up nicely. Another huge game for the football club at West Ham at the weekend. One has to get ready for that. But it's a joy to watch the supporters all in front of us. They realise it's a big win for the football club. So City got the most wonderful start. Kevin De Bruyne after seven minutes. His international colleague, Den Donker, equalised four minutes later. But then it was the KDB Roadshow. A goal in the 16th, the 24th and the 60th to make City 4-1 up. Raheem Sterling made it five. The Blues had other opportunities to add to that scoreline. But let's not be too greedy. At the start of play, City led Liverpool solely by goal difference. It was just three better. Well, now they're three points ahead of Liverpool and seven goals better off in the goals difference column.